There you go, Lois. We abort it. Send it on up to Dale and Naomi. Hell, they're probably waiting for it anyway. If they left their mittens here, you wouldn't keep them. You'd send them back. Abort the thing. Oh, I don't know, Peter. Well, there's no harm in visiting the family planning center just to see what your options are. Oh, it's such a big decision. Of course it's a big decision. Life is full of big decisions. Like deciding whether or not to have Indian food. Lois, do I need to do anything tomorrow that doesn't involve me being bent over in excruciating pain three feet from a toilet? No. Time for some tikka masala. Doctor, I won't lie to you. I'm a little uncertain about this. That's perfectly natural, Mrs. Griffin, and you should ask as many questions as you can before you decide. So how's it work, Doc? You strap her down and then go hacking at her like Sweeney Todd? No, no, good lord, this is not 2005. We've come a long way since then. Okay, what, so you go stab it in there with a laser and you try to zap it out like, um, burning an ant with a magnifying glass? No, Mr. Griffin. Well, so what, you, like, hold her legs open and, like, send a pit bull in there? You know, one of them little rat hunting dogs, and, and he, he comes back out with it in his mouth and he goes, rah, 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 and, you know, you, you can't get it away from him because, you know, it, it's his thing. No, Mr. Griffin, it's a very simple, safe procedure in which we very precisely and delicately remove the embryo. We do it all the time, and I promise it's virtually risk-free. Well, I have to say I feel a little better about it. I think this may be the right thing to do. Mrs. Griffin, we have a saying around here. Let's keep abortion safe, legal, and rare. Okay, well, why don't you get started? I'm gonna go sit in the car and pretend like I'm driving. I'm gonna be in a race. <laughs> Hey, what are you guys belly aching about? Sir, we are doing all that we can to stop the killing of millions of unborn babies. If you have a few moments, I'd like you to watch this video presentation. Yeah, I got a few minutes. My wife's getting an abortion. Hello, friend. I hear you're contemplating having an abortion. But before you do, remember, science has proven that within hours of conception, a human fetus has started a college fund and has already made your first Mother's Day card out of macaroni and glitter. Aww. But don't take my word for it. Just ask my little friend Ziggy. Hi, I'm Ziggy the Zygote. I'm looking forward to being an active member of your community. Can I hug you? <laughs> of course you can, Ziggy. Because even though they're not visible yet, you already have tiny arms. Arms that will one day work, play, and fold in prayer. Yay! But, uh-oh, what's this? <laughs> oh, my God! Well, he's gone. Just like so many other promising human lives who were probably snuffed out by abortion. Like the guy who would have killed Hitler. Nice going, Schweinhund. The fourth stooge. That's right, there were supposed to be four stooges. It was gonna be hilarious! And Osama bin Laden's America-loving older brother. I would have talked him out of it! Wow, thanks a lot for 9-11 abortion enthusiasts. And remember, not only is abortion murder, but it's also larceny, jaywalking, and securities fraud. And did you know the baby you're aborting may also have a baby inside of it that you're also aborting? Now that you know this, do you want an abortion? No, no, I do not. <laughs>